Okay, have you ever had a fashion emergency? Asking for help is always okay, and that's what we're doing today. Tanya Tanello is here to answer the style SOS. Our City Line viewers are sending out. Tanya, we're so happy you're here with us to help us out. Thank you. So nice to see you again. You too. So, yes, I put the question out to viewers, and I actually got a great response. So let's get right to it. Let's get to Fashion SOS number one. Mm -hmm. Hey Tanya, my name's Jamie and I could really use your help. So I love my blazers, but I'm looking to switch things up a bit. So what would you suggest as a work appropriate alternative to a blazer? Because blazers are kind of feeling a little bit formal to me these days. Okay, that's a really good question there. Right, so I'm a blazer lover as well, clearly. So good. Thank you. Yeah. But they could be a little confining, a little tight through the shoulder, the button closure. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna offer the perfect alternative and that is a lightweight bomber jacket. Nice. So they are relaxed through the body and through the sleeve. We don't have that structured shoulder. Yes. And then also with the zip closure, it allows you to either have it open like a blazer mm -hmm. or to do the half zip or full zip. And actually this one here is really interesting because it is reversible. Ooh, mm -hmm. two for one. We like we that. We love a two for one, the style versatility from this one. And then also on the note of bombers yeah. and some inspo. Oh, those are cute. So here's one that is a really fun animal print uh -huh. and then some camo here. So you could put a button down shirt underneath, a t-shirt or a turtleneck. So a lot of styling versatility with bombers. I like the options there. So you're saying have the bomber. It doesn't mean you have to be totally casual. You can still put a beautiful blouse or a button up underneath the bomber. That is fantastic. Okay, let's get to our next fashion SOS. Hey Tanya, it's Jill. How's it going? I need your help. Any tips on upping my virtual style game? Um, there's only so many ways to keep things fresh from the waist up. Thank you. This is such a good question. We're all stuck in the like Zoom mode still for meetings and so on, totally. right? Totally. Yes. So Jill is definitely speaking for the masses. We're in this rectangle. <laughs> it's maybe been like a year and a half. Yep. And how do we keep it fresh? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to introduce or just put a spotlight on an accessory that I think is really understated. Yeah. And that is the brooch. It's been a while. You're bringing the brooch back. I'm bringing the brooch back. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So a few ways to style it. The most traditional is just on the lapel of a jacket. Yep. Right? So we know that one. All good. But here are a couple that perhaps we don't go to as often. Ooh. See, that is funky. I like that look. Great. Amazing. I like that brooch. Yeah, so a little bit of edge on a jacket that's somewhat mm. basic. Yeah. Um, and I love the angel wings and the chains here. So we can put it on the breast pocket of a jacket. Yep. Alternatively. Oh, this is going to get them talking. <laughs> Look at that, right in the middle. <laughs> yeah, so this one here, so right at the neckline of a button-up or button-down shirt. Yes. And it adds that interest, a little bit of bling right at the neckline, which is fun. Which is really nice. And I know you were saying before, instead of talking about the weather, people will be like, well, what's that pretty sparkly thing in the middle of your neck there? And that's what you can chat about for that awkward little intro to the meeting time. Exactly. When you're waiting for people to get on the call. Yes, yes. Amazing. We've, we've talked enough about the weather. So, right? Yeah. Let's move on. Thank you. Do you have one more for us? I do. So this is the most unconventional. And yeah. so this one, actually, I'm styling the brooch as a hair accessory. That's cute. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take as many bobby pins as required, mm -hmm. and I'll just weave it through that back pin there. Nice. And then I'm just going to secure that with as many bobby pins as I need yeah. within my hair. You're fancy, Tanya. So no, now it's I a like decorative that. barrette. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is good because now you can wear it in so many different ways, and you're extending that piece, you know? Exactly. Very nice. Okay, let's get to our next question. Tanya, what's good? It's your boy Miller from Scarborough. I'm checking in to find out what's hot for fall, winter. I feel like I'm just wearing hoodies all the time. I know you got some sauce. Sprinkle some for me and let me know what's hot for fall, winter. Oh, she got the sauce. <laughs> I need to know whose big head is beside Miller. That is some, did the That's big head. head have a That's his head. <laughs> That's his <laughs> Love. It's hey. self-love, and yeah. we should all aspire to that. Okay, Absolutely. how are we going to up Miller's fashion game? Yes, Mr. Miller, I got you today. So uh -huh. I'm going to start with the corduroy it's fall back. winter trend. It's back. It's yeah. here. It could either be done in a full garment like a shirt or a pant. Yeah. Or if you want to do it in a more subtle manner, then perhaps just the collar of a shirt or yeah. of a jacket. Yeah, it's a little yeah. less, right? Absolutely. 
This actually transitions into the next trend, which is the bucket hat. Yes. I, I can see Miller in a bucket hat. For sure. He yeah. can, you can totally pull it he off. Can rock it. So we saw this in spring, summer, and now it's come into fall, winter. But now we're seeing it in some more seasonal appropriate fabrics like cord, or I've seen ones that are fleece lined as well. Nice. And then, Tracy, this one's really fun because Ooh. if you take off the tag, it can absolutely be reversible. Yeah. It's a statement. It's a statement. Get ready to be noticed. Like you're not, <laughs> yeah. you're not just blending into traffic in this one. That's beautiful. Sure. Maybe yeah. stopping traffic. Right. But yes, it's it's a really fun piece. So very nice sweater vests. Yeah. They're, they're, it's like we're having a preppy moment. For sure. Right? A little bit of that, a little nod to that, but I love the fact that you've got some patterns there. Yes. So this one here, you know, we're seeing this overlap with women's wear trends and men's wear. So yeah. some color and print in this one. Yeah. And then with this one, like you said, it is that varsity inspired neckline, which is super preppy and a really clean look. Very cute. Now, okay. you've got another jacket option uh, for, for men right now, and this style is going nowhere. We've been seeing the quilted, uh, the quilted bombers and what have you for a while now, but they just get better and better every season. Absolutely, yes. So this one is the shorter version. It's in mm -hmm. black. It's going to go with everything. And then this longer one here in the taupe is also a great look as well. Okay, beautiful. Let's see our uh, next viewer question now. Take a look. Hi, Tanya. It's Tanya here. I used to rock my heels often pre-COVID, but lately they just haven't felt as comfortable. Would you be able to recommend some flat footwear alternatives that could still work with professional attire? She doesn't want to wear heels anymore. She's like pandemic, right? right? You get on the other side of the pandemic, it's like, what am I doing? I know. I do this for, I don't know, two hours and then I'm out. <laughs> yes, it's definitely a stretch for a lot of us after mm -hmm. not wearing them for so long. Yeah. So Tanya with the Y, I totally got you today. Loafers. Yes. Loafers are the answer. Okay. They are such a great piece. They're structured. They're really professional and polished looking. But whereas the ballet flat is a little bit more for spring summer, the loafer is ideal for the fall. Absolutely. And I just like the fact that you're getting some height in some of these. So walk us through what you've got. That's right, for sure. So I'll start with the flat ones here. And I know because Tanya was asking more so for flat. Yeah. So with these ones here, there's a lot of great options in terms of the details. So we have one with tassels. There's some great hardware on the other two, whether it's in the gold or that chrome chevron. Mm -hmm. And also color blocking is another fun way to wear the loafer if you don't want to go with a solid color. Yeah. And then as you did mention, yes, a, a lot of us are looking for a lift, but we don't want to wear that skinny heel. No. So the chunky loafer is the solution. Yeah. Uh, here we have it in the traditional black. We have the really fun patent leather with that statement hardware. Mm -hmm. And then, Tracy, I know this might not be for everyone, <laughs> but... <laughs> Take a look, people. What do you see? I see PB Herman. I'm sorry, but I would totally oh, no. rock those today in 2021. I think they're so cool with a nice, like, faux leather legging. Totally. With a wide leg jean. Yes. I would have some fun with those. Yes, I can't unsee PB Herman now. I'm but, sorry. But you're, you're absolutely right. So, yes, it's a platform, and we're seeing a lot of this stark contrast with the white body of the shoe and then the black sole. So a really fun way to wear the loafer. Great answers to our Fashion SOS. And we've been speaking about fashion mishaps. Take a look at this one. You don't have a man at home? <laughs> I need my friends to zip me up, so I left my house. Share and concentrate. With my dress open and my jacket on top of me. I was, actually, I was actually going to knock on my neighbor's door and say, hey, can you just <laughs> zip me up? Bye. <laughs> they need to come up with an invention or something so someone can do this themselves. It's up. That was a good night, and we didn't want T to be naked for the night, so we did help you out. But I feel like Tanya has a better solution for you if you're in this fix again, T. Come on in, and she'll show you. What have yes. you got, Tanya? Okay, so you don't have to experience that again. Uh, I, I hope not. That was very mortifying. <laughs> it was very fun mortifying. Okay, that you experienced that. I did that in a hotel lobby. Wow, but it was no, very embarrassing. <laughs> So this is the amazing tool that you need that is going to bring joy to your life, and it is the Dress Zipper Helper. Okay. okay. All right. Let's so try. here's how it works. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to hook this mm -hmm. onto the zipper opening here. Now, in real life, she'd have to put that on the dress before she put the dress yes. on, right? That's correct. Thanks for clarifying that, Tracy. So now we have it hooked. You'll just bring it forward. Let's and see if this works. Is it going to? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't need no yes. man. <laughs> you don't need no help. Well, I do need a man. <laughs> so you don't need no man to do up your dress. Just one to hang out with. Oh, so that good. is so good. That is a perfect solution. I love that. And I know, Tanya, you got that online. So That's very right. good.
We've solved the fashion emergencies. Well, she 